Well, it's that time of year again. It's Boxing Day 2013. The presents have been unwrapped from the Christmas tree, but for Speedway fans, it's just about to start here at Brisbane International Speedway. Making his 15th tour for Australia, it's Donny Shots. Donny, welcome back. Thanks, nice to be here. It's your third full tour here for Brisbane. This year, 23 feature wins in the world of Outlaws. A stellar year for you, but unfortunately you missed out on the championship. Well, we had uh, we had a great year. Uh, yeah, we did miss out on the championship, but uh, now it's reset. So, um, you know, we can start over and uh, hopefully continue the way we ended. You said uh, in the podium at the World Finals that you didn't get out raced, you got out qualified. Did you put that down to Donny Shots not dialing in for a couple of laps quickly, or perhaps the machinery, or a bit of both? It's it has a, a lot to do with uh, a little bit of everything, you know. It, it, qualifying, um, if we were there to qualify, I guess the races would stop and that was over. You know, I've always been a, a guy that raced a feature and that's what the whole night was about. So, um, you know, they, it's got to be a situation where you can qualify bad and still be able to race and qualify good and still be able to race. There has to be a happy medium and, um, you know, we've seemed to found that. But, um, you know, unfortunately, we, we uh, didn't have as many qualifying good times as we wanted and uh, those guys did. You know, they spent a lot of time, a lot of money trying to qualify good and it worked for them. So, uh, I'm not going to change the way I race now. I uh, haven't done that for a long time. I'm not about to start now. So I'll take the 23 wins uh, over eight any day, and uh, we'll just see what happens again. You won your sixth Knoxville Nationals this year. You came from the B through the back of the A to win that race. Do you put that down as one of your greatest victories, considering the eliteness of the field for the Knoxville final? Well, there's no question. It's definitely one of my most memorable uh, races that I've been a part of. Um, you know, it, when you race, it doesn't matter where you start. You, you still have that motivation. You still have the desire to get through the field. And, um, you know, just happened to be at the Knoxville Nationals. I had to do it. I had to run the B, um, had, to, had to come through the B and win the race. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a high on my totem pole. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be some, some highlights someday that's maybe uh, had to do it even harder than that. So um, I hope it's no time soon. But uh, we'll do our best to continue on. Of course, everybody knows that your boss, Tony Stewart, had that uh, horrendous accident where he got his leg broken in several places. Did that change the persona in the team in any way, like the way anybody thought about their racing? Anytime anybody gets hurt or killed, it, it, um, you know, it opens your eyes a little bit and makes you realize maybe we need to start looking at things to make them safer, but these cars are very safe. Um, there's only so safe you can make something. It's the only thing safe you can make anything. And... Um, you know, Tony was in a safe car. Uh, I think he just ended up uh, in a very freak situation. So um, it didn't change anything at that point, but uh, there's been some provisions made now um, in the off season to try to keep them sort of things from happening again. And um, all we can do is hope they don't, don't have that situation happen again, and especially to him. As we said, it's your third full time back here in uh, Brisbane this summer. Last season, a young boy by the name of James McFadden upstaged you for the 20,000 Australian Open looking to get revenge obviously this year you've won five of the last six opens well there's a lot of guys here to race for the open uh you know and my job is to come and do what i do uh enjoy the race i enjoy being here and uh we didn't have a very good turnout last year at the open so um yeah i'm looking forward to trying to get myself back in uh in that winner's position and uh we'll just do our best is all we can do does donnie shots wake up every day and think that it's still a dream that he in the world that he lives in a sprint car race and when growing up as a boy that's all you really wanted to do? Well you wake up and uh, you hope that your alarm clock doesn't go off and it resets everything and it take it all away so uh, that's all you really hope for when you wake up and um, yeah it's a dream I've been living a dream the whole time I've done this and uh, never thought I'd get to this level but uh, it's been a hell of a ride I hope I can continue to ride it as long as I can. Of course last year you said you bought yourself a late model to have a bit of fun have you uh, managed to get out on the tracks around North Dakota and have a bit of fun? I've had a lot of fun, but I've created myself a lot of work. So, um, in fact, I uh, leave here this Saturday night and I'll be racing in Arizona on Sunday in the late model. So uh, that's going to be quite a feat for me. But um, obviously it's it's something I've enjoyed doing. Um, different form of racing, it helps me with this. So um, continue to do it as long as you have fun. Well, Donny, you got a lot of fans here in Australia. It's great to see you back here. And uh, we wish you the best of luck for this season.